Welcome to this How To Free Agent tutorial. Today I'm going to cover the different ways you can explain bills and expenses in Free Agent. The main thing that people are confused about when they first start using Free Agent is how to explain different kinds of expenses. Uh, we get an awful lot of questions from clients about this, so we thought it'd be good to just right from the beginning explain the different ways that you can do it so it's really easy for you to get started. We're then after this short video, there'll be extra videos that show a demonstration of each of these uh, expenses and how to how to allocate them on the software. Uh, so the first uh, expense, if you look at the screen, uh, is if you just go into a shop uh, with your business account debit card and you buy something, they'll give you a receipt. It's an immediate purchase. Um, usually uh, it could be anything from going into um, a stationery shop uh, to taking a client out for lunch to buying uh, materials or goods. Um, once you've done this, all you need to do is wait for the bank feed to update on free agent and then you can just explain the bank transaction. So you would go, as it says, to banking and then to your current account, find the bank transaction and you could just explain what you've what you've bought, where you got it from, uh, the cost category that it goes under. And if you do attach receipts to the software, you can just attach your receipts to the software and you're all done. Uh, the slightly more complex uh, item would be if you have a supplier that bills you once a month and you do not pay that bill immediately. Um, for example, if you have a, a Travis Perkins account, that would be an ideal situation. So in this instance, uh, as soon as they send you their monthly bill, we would put it on the system as a bill. Again, this is where we would go under the, the category bills um, on the software. By allocating a bill to Travis Perkins, we then know we haven't paid them yet. So it gives us a, a list of uh, everyone that we owe money to, which is really quite ha handy so that you don't forget to pay anybody. Um, and if we put bills on uh, for the supplier every month, we can double check to the statements of account they send us that we agree with the statement of account they send us. They haven't not received an, a payment. Um, there might be that they think that they, we owe them more money and we can sort of double check with them and see if there's any bills that we have that are missing. Um, the second stage of this is that, again, just like in the first uh, kind of expense, when you do pay them and the, the payment hits the bank, you just go in and explain it as a bill payment and it will show that you've paid the bill and that you don't owe them the money anymore. Um, the third type, which is probably the, the one we get most questions about, is if you pay for something yourself. So for whatever reason, you've forgotten the bank debit card, you've just paid something with cash out of your pocket, you need to make sure that that's allocated as a business expense. And obviously it saves you uh, the tax, but that you need to be paid that money back. Whether or not you're a sole trader or a limited company is exactly the same. So what we would do in this instance is use the out of pocket expenses section of free agent. This goes on. This is under my money and then expenses. And all that you do, just like if you don't know how many of you've worked for a company and you have to do an expense claim, all you do is go on there and log the expense that you have paid for. You again, you would allocate it just like you do in the bank account and say what, what it was for and allocate it to a cost category. And if you wish to attach the receipt to the software um, and then either immediately or once a month or once a week, uh, you can then pay yourself that money back out of the business bank account and pay yourself back for the for the expense. Um, you can also do this for mileage. Um, and it's a brilliant way because on, on this, uh, as we'll show you in the demo on the expense page, it keeps a running total of how much money you're owed by the business. Um, and it also means that if you make small payments for things with cash, you still put them through the system and you still get the tax relief for them because they do really add up if you do it quite often uh, during the tax year. So that's the explanation of the three different types. Uh, if you'd like to watch the following videos, uh, we'll show you a practical demonstration of how to log each one of those on the software. Thank you very much. If this has been helpful, please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos. And if you need a free agent friendly accountant that's easy to talk to, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.